Greetings Church, Pastor John Hoosen here again, great to be with you. I trust you're ready to be discipled by the living word of God. I want to continue today on in our final sort of installment on praise and worship. And today I want to talk a little bit about some expressions of praise and worship that we find in scripture. So I just want to, I'm just going to touch on them and I'll read the scriptures. And I trust that um, maybe it'll, it'll just birth a wonderful appetite within you to go and do some research and, and check more what scripture has to say about praise and worship. Good, uh, so I'm not going to give you a scripture per se, but when I do read it, you're more than welcome to pause the, this recording and uh, then go and find it and, and follow and see whether I'm making up or whether it is the truth. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, glorious, phenomenal day that we can break bread together and that your word can disciple. Lord. We thank you for Jesus. We welcome your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Great church, I trust that you are ready to be discipled, discipled by the living word of God. Right, let's do as I promised in our intro. Let's have a look at expressions of praise and worship that we can find in scriptures, we continue in our series, within a series, and our series is what the New Testament teaches. And our series within that series is praise and worship, expressions of praise and worship in scripture. Well, number one is with a mouth. With a mouth. And with a mouth there is singing. Psalm 9 and verse 2 says this, I'll be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name. Oh, most high. You can have a look at Psalm uh, 9 and verse 11 as well. Secondly, with a mouth there is praising. Praising. And then we can have a look at Psalm 103 and verse 1. Psalm 103 and verse 1. Praising. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Praising. So with a mouth singing and praising. And then finally with a mouth shouting. Psalm 47 verse 1 says, oh, Clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. Secondly, we find with the hands. So we've looked at with the mouth. Now we're looking at with the hands. And and, and that is lifting. Psalm 63 and verse 4 says this. Psalm 63 and verse 4. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. I will lift up my hands. So the word of God talks about lifting our hands, folks. Secondly, with the hands we have, we have clapping. And I can look at Psalm 47 one again. Oh, clap your hands. All you peoples, shout to God with a voice of triumph. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. And then, this wonderful way to praise and worship God that seems to be under so much duress and attack in God's church is with musical instruments. Psalm 150. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and the harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise Him with loud cymbals. Praise Him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord for that. So with the mouth, and we said they're singing and praising and shouting. Another expression of praise and worship that we find in script is with the hands. Lifting, clapping, and now with musical instruments. And then finally with the body. Our first one is standing. Psalm 134 and verse 1 
reads as follows, Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Standing. Secondly, when we look at with the body is kneeling or bowing. Psalm 95 and verse 6. Psalm 95 and verse 6. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. And then finally, with the body, dancing and leaping for joy. Dancing and leaping for joy. Psalm 30 and verse 11 reads as follows. You have turned from me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Dancing and leaping for joy. Exodus 15 and verse 11. Who is like you, O Lord? Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Exodus 15 and verse 21. And Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Psalm 86 and verse 8. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord. Nor are there any works like your works. Psalm 86 and verse 10. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. And finally today, church, as we close on praise and worship, Psalm 86 and verse 12. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Shall we pray? Father God, we do understand that the greatest thing that we will ever do in our life or even in eternity is to worship you, Lord. Father, we so want to worship you in spirit and in truth. We want to be true worshippers. And Father, we want to make this a goal in our life. Father, we pray that you would help us teach someone else about this wonderful way of love. For we will praise you, O Lord, with all our hearts, and we will glorify your name forever. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. God keep you, God turn his face toward you, grant, grant you his glorious peace. Have a wonderful day.